As a medic in Evolve, you have a solemn responsibility, a sworn duty, a prime directive that overrides all other concerns. Keep your team of hunters alive. Pretty much everything on Sheer wants to kill them, and you, but you are the only one who can heal the crew and keep them in fighting form. But Chris, what about this sick sniper rifle I got, man? I'ma score monster headshots all day! No! I don't even want you equipping that rifle until healing becomes your first, your last, your everything. Follow the following tips and they'll be naming oaths after you in no time. Let's start with Val. Whenever Val is in the match, the real contest becomes the battle of the health bars between her and the monster. Val's medgun heals versus the damage the monster deals. By keeping those heal juices flowing, you can prolong the time it takes the monster to incapacitate your allies and minimize the amount of in-cap strikes they receive. Each strike lowers their maximum health, and three strikes forces a dropship respawn, so let's just try to avoid that, shall we? Here's the thing about the medgun. It has a really long range, like way longer than you think, probably. So get yourself to high ground where you can see your team scrapping it out below and get to healing. You should almost always focus on whoever the monster is attacking at that time. Unless that person is shielded, then maybe heal someone else who needs it real bad. Or if that person is getting torn apart and is clearly doomed, then maybe top off your other teammates and start planning your revive. Anyone can revive an in-capped player, but Val can use her medgun to do it from a distance. She can also use the heal burst to fuel a dramatically faster revive, but this requires you to be near the injured person, which also means you're near the monster, which is no good. Better to use your med gun to stay out of harm's way as long as you can. The monster will eventually get real tired of your medical antics and follow the bright green line that leads it right to you. This is where mobility becomes paramount. Take a jetpack recharge or a jump height increase perk at the beginning of the match to amplify your movement and save your heal burst for keeping yourself alive during these encounters, because ain't nobody healing you, except you. And when fleeing the monster, try to escape in the direction of your teammates so that they can draw its aggression. It can also help to dose the beast with a shot from your tranquilizer gun. Tranking the monster doesn't just put a neon outline around it for easy visibility, it also drastically cuts its movement speed and severely impairs any movement-related abilities. So Goliath can't leap as far, Kraken can barely fly, and the Wraith's teleport is much less teleport -y. Not only can tranking help you get out of a dangerous situation, but it's also a great asset for tipping the combat scales in your favor. If you can pepper in some armor-piercing sniper rifle shots as well, then you're really cooking. Targets it leaves on the monster lets your buddies do double damage, so try to put them on a chest or a head instead of a tentacle or a tail so they're easy to hit. Trank and punch holes in armor intermittently, but always remember that the single best thing that you can ever do is heal. I've seen too many medics get caught up in the glory and glamour of shooting the actual monster. Those medics are dead medics. And also dicks. Having your buddies die as Val means that you didn't do your job. Having your buddies die as the second medic, Lazarus, means it's time to go to work. The Lazarus device is a miraculous test tube wizard fist that quickly revives in-capped allies or resurrects dead ones, and it does so without causing any in-cap strikes. Note that this doesn't replace Lazarus' ability to do a normal non-medical revival, so be sure you're actually whipping out your power glove and firing it to gain the full benefits. Unless your dead buddies get eaten or decompose, you can always bring them back from the dead. This basically negates the fact that the monster ever downed them, and as a monster, there is nothing more infuriating. Which is why Lazarus' number one priority is not to heal allies, but to avoid getting mauled by the monster. Seriously. A hero-level Lazarus can swoop in with a well-timed heal burst when all his allies are hurting, but you are not that Lazarus. I mean, it's nothing personal, like you totally could be one day, but until you've got your revival and evasion game down pat, save the heal burst for yourself, or for when, like, randos take a bite out of someone when you're just jogging around the map. That will have to tide you over! Stay out of the fray, you creepy necromedic, and put that silent sniper rifle to work. The weak spots you create on the monster aren't as powerful as Val's, but you can make a lot more, a lot more quickly. Snipe the monster, watch your teammates get bloody, and when they start dropping, you start reviving. It's kind of morbid just to watch everyone you know get thrashed, but that's how Lazarus rolls. Get on voice chat and tell your teammates to leave the revives to you. 
they should draw the monster away from downed allies so you can do your thing. And if they're gonna die, can they at least have the decency to spread themselves out a little bit first? That'd be great. The personal cloak is great for invisibling your way to a revive gig, but while you're actually patching their boo-boos or calling their soul back from the beyond, you'll be visible. Make sure that the monster is distracted and that you have an exit plan. And remember, jetpack usage is still visible when the rest of you is invisible. And so is fire if you happen to be on fire. Fire is generally not good, but don't tell that to Kyra, the third medic. Her fire grenades can cause the monster some serious discomfort, but like Val before her, Kyra is a healer, hence the healing grenades. For healing, these projectiles are a skill shot, meaning you have to aim each one, unlike Val's lock-on medgun, but they do create a healing burst, so you can get a few allies in one shot if they're close together, and you can heal yourself by shooting the floor or the wall which means you can be a bit less selfish with your heal burst. Getting to an elevated position and looking down on it all as Kyra lets you rain healing and burning in alternate measure. But again, please, oh please, focus on the healing. You are the medic, not the pyro. That's this guy. High ground isn't just good for the views. It's also better for evasion because leaping and falling through the air allows you to cover more distance and get tricky with your jetpack. Maneuverability is one of Kyra's strong suits thanks to her acceleration field. Flick it on at the beginning of a match to catch up with the monster and force an early encounter while it's still a wee baby. Or activate it during a fight to zip in and deliver a crucial healing burst. Or if, God forbid, you're the last one standing and things look bleak, kick it on to G the F.O. Medicking ain't easy, but few players are more impactful than a good doc, and the satisfaction you'll get from thwarting the monster is the good stuff. Follow these tips, share your own in the comments, and happy healing.